come back from the future. I have a few different things that I'd like to talk about in this video, so I think I'll do it Tarantino style and cut it into a few different parts. Is that okay? Okay, good. First off, I'd like to answer some questions that my past self has raised. Uh, your very first question past me was, have I ever gone to another long marathon like I did with The Hobbit? And the answer is yes. Just on Monday, I went to an eight and a half hour long one. But unlike yours, I got home at a reasonable hour. You got home at around three o'clock in the morning. I got home at ten thirty. So no, to answer your question, I wasn't that uh, I wasn't that tired the next day. Your second question was whether a year from now I would know what my best idea was, and I thought I'd put the hat on for answering this question. I think the best idea I've had is to do this project, which is funny because I didn't even come up with this project. This is based on a project that a British YouTuber did. So I think the best idea was probably setting out and doing this because this last year was really fun and I can't wait for everybody to see all the things that I did and what I'm going to do in the next year. So, yeah, this project. Next up, the review of The Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies. As I said before, today my school went to see The Hobbit. So I got to see it for a second time, and I really got to pay attention more and notice things that I didn't notice the first time. For example, in the final battle scene, when the orcs are just appearing, they bring out these giant, like, worm-type things with, like, razors for teeth, and they pop out of they pop out of their worm holes, and then they just kind of disappear, and we don't see them again for the rest of the movie. So was that just kind of like, oh, we have worms, so you might want to back off, or was that just an editing error? Did they just did they spend too much money working on the worms that they said, oh, we can't we can't do the worms again? Just maybe people won't notice. I noticed. I noticed Peter Jackson. What happened to the worms? I want an answer. Secondly, I want to address something that's been bugging me for a while about The Hobbit. In the first movie, okay, we see them get the the elvish swords, right? And Bilbo gets the little, little sting, which is, oh, that's more of a letter opener. And uh, Gandalf, Gandalf is trying to convince Bilbo to take the sword, and he says, This sword is of elvish make. It will glow blue when there's orcs. Okay, so during that last battle, shouldn't it have been glowing blue? And during... during, I don't want to spoil the ending for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. So, okay, if you haven't seen the new movie yet, I've already kind of spoiled some of it, but if you haven't seen it, okay, just mute mute the video right now and I'll wave my hand when you can turn it back on, okay? So in the final scene when Thorin has supposedly killed the the pale orc, we see him drift by underneath the ice and that's supposed to be like the big shocker, although everybody everybody saw it coming where he burst his eyes burst open and he comes through the ice. So why wasn't why wasn't uh Thorin's Thorin's elvish sword glowing blue. I mean, I know that would ruin ruin the whole surprise, but really it wouldn't because a few moments earlier we had seen that there was an orc army behind him. So, it could have been glowing blue and people could have uh, could have assumed, "Oh, that's that's just the orc army." Or it could have been glowing blue, but they just don't show it. It's this happens a few times throughout the movies. It should have been glowing blue because there were obviously orcs around but it doesn't. So I'm sure that's just for suspense purposes, but in terms of continuity, it, it kind of upsets me. So overall, after seeing the Battle of the Five Armies for a second time and paying more attention, I would probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10. It was a good wrap up. I like the ending. I won't say anything about it, but I like the ending. It's a good addition to the to the trilogy, and um, 
a lot of people after after we got back were talking about how they were upset because oh now there'll never be another Hobbit movie but I mean Tolkien did write other books so I'm sure if people are still interested and when Peter Jackson runs out of money they'll probably unearth one of those and make a little movie out of it so 8.5 out of 10 I want to show you guys the cool Christmas gift that Ben got for me. So, let me give you the backstory on this first. A couple of weeks ago, during lunch, Ben was in the computer lab working on, he was on Ancestry and he was doing a family tree of Tristan. And I commented, oh, I wish you'd do that for me. So, Christmas, you know, Christmas is around the corner and this is the last time we'll probably see each other at school. So he comes in and he gives me this. A poster sized version of my family tree. You got me at the bottom, and then you got my mom and dad, and it goes all the way up to members of my family who spell canard like Q U I. So, this is a great present. I mean, to think from one comment that I wanted a family tree, and he puts in the time and money to buy me this, I mean, he's a good friend.